My name is Sean M. Reynolds, and I'm honored to serve as your Chief of Police. I arrived in the city of Temple on June 1st, 2020. On June 5th, 2020, I authored an open letter to the community on the heels of the tragedy involving Michael Dean that had occurred, where both families and citizens raised legitimate questions about the intentionality and strategy of their police department. The police department in the city of Temple faced criticism and scrutiny. Hearts were hurting around the community and within your police department. Amid this pain, we began working. We began working on a variety of initiatives. Let me begin by discussing our mission statement. We desired a statement that could and would define our intentionality and our strategy each day we come to serve. Our mission statement is serving, protecting, and working in partnership with our community to prevent, reduce, and solve crime with integrity, honor, and dedication. This mission statement does not mean we will be perfect. And we are not perfect. We are humans and we will make mistakes. However, it should serve as a starting point for each day, shift, discussion, and meeting. The mission statement should remind us of what we are to do and the best part of our profession, which is serving and protecting. I would remind us that policing a free constitutional republic is not easy work. We live in a challenging, fallen world. Things change quickly, and our desire at TPD is to be on the front edge of modern policing. But in the middle of that statement is our community, the most important part of the statement. The police cannot and will not be successful without the community, and vice versa. We need the community to partner with us to improve professional policing and to improve our community. We are all guardians of our community. Our world is complicated and beautiful, but also a world that can be unbelievably cruel and hard. In my estimation, we rarely take time to focus on the beautiful side of our world, and it's easy to become focused on cruel and hard versus the beauty, talent, and potential. Law enforcement and its officers face criticism in our society, and some of it is very well earned, but some of it is not. However, I remain convinced that we as a community can continue to work together to do better and be better. For many of us, it feels as if we are more divided than we have ever been in this country that we love. If you disagree, and I suspect some of you will, spend some time on social media and let me know if you see much common decency, respect, or idealism. It seems to me that we need to focus less on the differences, more on our commonality, listen twice as much as we speak, and listen to understand versus listening to respond. While I had a plan in mind when I arrived in Temple, it was quickly derailed by COVID-19, which impacted all of us in a variety of ways. With a lack of contact, lack of resources, lack of information, we hunkered down, isolated, closed almost everything, and distanced ourselves from one another. We reduced and or eliminated contact between the community and the police. We lost loved ones, perhaps got sick ourselves, and are perhaps battling illness currently. The sense of loneliness and isolation was heartbreaking, and it is doubtful if we will ever truly know the true ramifications of our choices we made during the pandemic. However, during all of this, the department began to work on relationships, trust, and communication, rebuilding of those relationships that were damaged, rebuilding trust where it was lost or could be improved, and attempting to communicate the changes we were making. If you missed some of the changes we've been working on, or I did not communicate them well, let me offer as concisely as I can. I realize that words are often cheap these days, so I want to share with you our efforts. This list is not all inclusive of projects, programming, or improvement. When I arrived in Temple, I found a good police department staffed by dedicated professional officers. However, we can always strive to be better. In 2020, we partnered with Central County Services and have a qualified mental health professional embedded within the patrol division of Temple Police Department. We have conducted ethics training, supervisory training, report writing training. We've increased training across the department. We joined the National Use of Force database and began having discussions on how to reduce use of force interactions. 
In fact, in 2022, we reduced total use of force events by 18% as compared to 21. We focused on de-escalation, mental health training, and became an International Association of Chiefs of Police certified agency in the One Mind campaign. We retooled our hiring practices and emphasized hiring for character. I remind our personnel all the time that we will work shorthanded before we hire a person who doesn't share our values of accountability and integrity. We emphasize the mental health of our officers and safety by implementing a minimum staffing requirement. The City of Temple provided funding for both physical and behavioral assessments of new employees, but went a step further and funded that for our incumbent employees as well. We also, in partnership with the Temple Police Association, revamped our promotional process with additional testing, evaluation, and psychological exams. We have reconstituted our peer support and critical stress management program with the assistance of Pastor Robert Beeman, Elliot Germany, Dr. Sanjanette Crossley, and Chaplain Angela McGeehy, we implemented a police chaplaincy program designed to build and strengthen our relationships and services available for community members and police officers. We have increased our community engagement and community connection points through Coffee with a Cop, Burgers with a Badge, Kiddo Card Events, and partnering with Renata Square Apartments for a small touchdown substation inside of those apartments. We have added new technology and equipment. We redoubled our efforts to protect the public with increased active shooter training. We have added new positions, increased our staffing, and begun the process of regaining the confidence of those who may doubt our purpose. We brought the Citizens Police Advisory Commission together and online. A group of citizens whose mission statement is as follows, to serve the temple community by strengthening the relationship between the citizens and the police department with a goal of promoting collaboration and improving the quality of life in a place we love to call home. This group of volunteer citizens who serve on the Citizens Police Advisory Commission have reviewed, discussed, and dialogued on the following topics. The 21st Century Policing Report, Pillar 1, Building Trust and Legitimacy. Pillar 2, Policy and Oversight. Pillar 3, Technology and Social Media. Pillar 4, Community Policing and Crime Reduction. Pillar 5, Training and Education. Pillar 6, Officer Safety and Wellness. We've covered the budget, monthly executive summaries, the Temple Police Department's complaint process, the Code of Criminal Procedures, their goals, roles, and work plan, juvenile crime rate, discussions on homelessness and mental health issues, Project Centurion, juvenile curfew ordinance, discussion of our budget for 23, bias-based policing report, use of force report, officer wellness and safety discussion. Five members of the Citizens Police Academy or Citizens Police Advisory Commission also attended the Citi Citizens Police Academy. As I stated in my 2020 letter, I'm committed to fostering relationships between TPD and the community through healthy and productive conversations concerning police and community issues. We are committed to treating each of our citizens equally as we drive hate, discrimination, and divisiveness out of our city. Sadly, and reprehensibly, another tragedy has occurred this time in Memphis, Tennessee with the death of Tyree Nichols. We're heart sick again. I am heart sick again. In the days and months ahead, we will face challenges. It's my hope that we face them together. It is our desire as a community to move forward together and identify areas of improvement. The members of the Temple Police Department look forward to working together with community members to learn, listen, discuss, and stand as one. We have done this work and more during a significant employee shortage. The Temple Police Department is currently seeking men and women of good character with a strong moral compass and a desire to serve. We have 18 current vacancies, and our next hiring process is scheduled for February 25th, 2023. For more information or to apply for a police officer position, go to jointempplepd.com 
and accept the challenge. The Temple Police Department fully supports the First Amendment rights of the people to peacefully assemble. The placing fellow residents in danger and destroying property overshadows the message of social progress. My thoughts and prayers are with the community members and the Dean family. It is my greatest hope that peace can be found for each of us, but particularly for the family of Michael Dean.